Hi everyone, I'm Maya Jama and I'm going to tell you basically Who's the real Jama? Me. Born on the 14th of August, 1994, Maya Jama was raised by her Swedish mother. She moved to London at the age of 16 to pursue her acting career. This is where her story and path to become a well-known BBC television and radio host began. This is when her boyfriend at the time was shot down and killed in a pub. When I'm in a bad mood, I listen to fish great fish. Maya's high school psychology teacher revealed to the public she was a devil child nightmare at school. She never turned in her homework and was always late for school. I'd do a windmill every single time I came out of the shower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Initially she presented weekly music video charts countdown for Jump Off TV. Going on to work for Sky on Trace Sports and later became a weekday radio DJ on Rinse FM. Corrupt FM are inside. Uh, okay. I want to be a garage MC. Yeah. Uh, okay. I want to be a fish MC. Yeah. Uh, okay. I want to be a fish. Yeah. Who doesn't? So <laughs> In November 2017 she became the youngest person to co-host the MOBO Awards on Channel 5 with fellow presenter Marvin Humes. Don't you mean Melvin do? The following year she joined the BBC Radio 1 team, co-presenting every Friday with the likes of Scott Mills and Chris Stark. Currently she presents her BBC One Radio 1 show on Fridays and Saturdays from 10am to 1pm GMT, a huge time slot within the radio community. At the end of 2019 she appeared alongside the one and only Dara Abrian on late night panel show, Big Fat Quiz of the Year. She is also a loose woman, appearing on ITV's Loose Women. You may be aware she dated grime pop star legend, Stormzy, dating for three years before he cheated on her and they two broke up. Despite saying the two were on good terms, she followed Stormzy on Instagram. Take that Michael. As a kid she never got to spend much time with her jailbird Somali father. Sad face. Despite spending most of her working career inside, Maya loves working outside, alone. Put my stapler inside a jelly again. She considers herself lucky to have a garden. She got her name, Maya Jama, from the fabulous woman, Maya Angelou. Maya's mother was inspired by Maya's poem, convincing her to name her daughter Maya. Despite being Maya Angelou's namesake, Maya is quite wary of the F-word, feminism. Maya states that she wouldn't consider herself a feminist, although she says she agrees with all of it and thinks it's a good movement. Given the situation with her own pirate father, Maya was well qualified to create a documentary film for TV about the struggles of other young women who grew up with naughty dads in jail. These parties were imprisoned, but it was women who were most affected. Talking to the crazy shrill girls in her program, Maya said, I never felt unloved, my childhood was as good as it could have been. There was no lack of love. Maya met her father in a park, but has since cut all ties with him again, calling their relationship manufactured for money on TV. Maya is not just amazingly socially aware when it comes to women's issues, she's also an advocate for mental healthiness. When asked to share her advice for those struggling with depression, Maya bravely said if you're sad, just be happy. Do things that make you happy. Unlike most women, Mae Jamma is clever and funny. She is a gifted impressionist, able to do convincing accents and pull some wacky faces. Watch out Jim Carrey. She is also unafraid to shatter taboos with her boundary-pushing comedy. Tweeting in 2012 dark skinned bitches shaving their head expecting to look like Amber Rose, when really they end up looking like Michael Jordan, Lou, and later in 2015 Jim Crow was jokes, I would personally love to have my own drinking fountain. Then I like to focus on my eyes but I'm quite a simple girl. Maybe it's Maybelline? No. It's Maya Jammer. That's right. Maya secured a modeling contract with mega fashion brand Maybelline, modeling their poreless foundation. Everyone hates pores, so this advertising campaign went brilliantly and netted Maya 1 million Instagram followers. Maya also earned another 100,000 followers from her seminal work as a cashier at Lipsy and Urban Outfitters. These fans love to hear all the juicy woozy gossip about Maya's life, and are constantly asking for updates on the DJ's private life.
When asked about the gifts she received from ex-boyfriend and grimy artist Stormzy, the birthday girl said she was given expensive things, diamond rings and things, you know, rap life. She warned that the dirty rapper was a super freak who blew AG a week on her. Despite this Stormzy is desperate for Maya back, tearfully stating that he wants to marry her and have her children on cut segments of the Radio 1 breakfast show. When later asked about this interview while recording with Ed Sheeran in Suffolk, Stormzy told a reporter shut up. to shut up, shut up, claiming he was still disappointed that they had the audacity to ask him such a cold scary question when he was out buying cigarettes and kush, it was an all time low. Stormzy said you're a bit big for your boots, asking me about that. It's not that deep. Take me back to London. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of- I've had enough of your disingenuous assertions. Maya didn't have a close relationship with Stormzy because she loved McDonald's more, regularly ordering a Big Mac meal and then 20 nuggets, although it sometimes makes her tummy cling cling. Jammer says her McDonald's addiction is worse than the crack and heroin dependence of her ex-roommate. She must love those nuggets. She asked McDonald's to manufacture her dress for the 2020 BAFTAs, which she hosted. The burger chain refused and Maya instead had to use a 5G-powered augmented reality dress produced at Kevin Bacon's phone network EE. Luckily all the fast food has left Maya's beautiful arteries and sexy blood totally intact. She has a rare RO blood subtype which she donated to the NHS in 2019 to help combat domestic abuse. Battered women were injected with this blood and developed incredible strength, defeating their husbands and escaping from a lifetime of abuse. Maya is a giant of show business. Her Rite TV 2 panel show Don't Hate the Players is fantastically successful, and she did a fantastic job as co-host of Channel 4's The Circle. There has never before been a presenter as good as here and there is not likely to be ever again. Maya truly is 1 in 6 million. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more wild entertainment.